You know, I have obviously watched all of Martin Luther King's, Dr. King's speeches. I've actually watched a lot of Gandhi's speeches, mm -hmm. which are almost the, the diametrical opposite of Dr. King's speeches, um, and yet had so much that was valuable for me. But I think in today's world, I'm, I tend to be most inspired by people who are lifting up those values mm -hmm that are really important. So, you know, some of my colleagues, Ben Jealous, um, I think has re who runs the NAACP, has really developed as a speaker. Um, Judith Brown Dianis, who runs the Advancement Project. Um, I look for and respond to, and I guess that's why I do it, but I respond to people who do put that bigger vision forward. You know, I think in a speech, it's sometimes very difficult to, and not necessarily the best thing, to just talk about little solutions. It really is, about moving people to a different place, at least in the line of work that, that I'm doing. Mm -hmm. um, I did a speech recently to the FDIC, and that was interesting because that was around sort of how to develop diverse leadership and, mm -hmm. and what that looks like. And I did actually lay out an idea of a race continuum and how you think about diversity mm -hmm. um, along a continuum. And it was a very specific idea, and I kind of built on it, but I tried to tie it, tie it into the bigger pieces. So I think that's what I look for in other speakers mm -hmm. um, as well. I obviously, I, I think President Obama, when he's speaking at that level, is an amazing speaker. Mm -hmm. um, he's not always speaking at that level, you know, mm -hmm. um, and he can't, given how many speeches he has to do. <laughs> But I thought his speech on, on race during his first campaign was, was <laughs> very, very powerful.